Howdy, Cowboy Gamer here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my prediction for NX, Wii U, 3DS, and Nintendo's future with cross buying. I know I talked about cross buy a little while ago, but IGN asked for some predictions about what the NX was going to be, and I wanted to write in, but I figured I'd give it a little more time, hash out everything, and here it is. Uh, sit back, enjoy, emphasis on the sitting. I will. By the end of this, I'm going to throw in a couple E3 predictions. Hopefully, I don't blow anyone's mind. The NX stands for Nintendo Cross Platform. Uh, X is very big on the emphasis of cross in Japan, and, and just stands for Nintendo. Uh, the NX will be a Wii U-type box with a gamepad, and the gamepad will be pretty much a 2DS or clamshell 2DS. Uh, there will be no uh, 3D uh, feature involved in this. Um, now why do I think that? Mostly it is because Nintendo has recently been releasing games on both systems. Uh, sometimes one and then the other, or they try to do it at the same time, uh, or in one case with Xenoblade Chronicles 3D, it was a Wii game that got ported to the 3DS, or the new 3DS, and this was just Nintendo working on the technology, and they're, they're very big in telegraphing what they're doing, if you see the signs, and this is them trying to see if the technology is there, and if they're able to put a Wii game on a 3DS, uh, or in like Monster Hunter 3, putting a Wii U game and having a 3DS game and just uprising the graphics. Um, other games they've done this for Smash Brothers, uh, NES Remix, even though they still create different variations, this is pretty much the same game. Uh, and then uh, Mario and Sonic at uh, uh, Rio 2016 Olympic Games is going to be coming out for both systems. And recently announced, even though it's not official, uh, Hyrule Warriors, which was out on Wii U and will be coming to 3DS. And Nintendo has also tried the cross by model of Mario vs. Donkey Kong, uh, so releasing a digital game on both systems. Uh, why is this somewhat good and somewhat a little unusual but Nintendo can make one game for Wii U or 3DS and then just if it's for Wii U just downgrade it to a 3DS model uh, or at least the power levels and the processor power of a 3DS and just phase out the 3D effect uh, so that it's simpler to just down res it. Uh, the 3D has to be taking some sort of processing power to generate that, so by removing it, it opens up more power in the 3DS and it's pretty much turns it just into a 2DS clamshell type device. Uh, and Nintendo's not in any worse shape. They've already, s currently, they're split between 3DS, Wii U, and now uh, smart devices. By doing this, they're still making multiple games but it still just puts them in the same shape they were where they're making the game but now it can be the same game and they're just porting it over to the other uh, version. Uh, there will still be games that will only come out for one or the other. Uh, as much as they want to do all of them it's just it's not possible. Uh, Pokemon specifically they their uh, company that owns them doesn't want to put it on a big screen uh, so they don't want to put it on the Wii U, the console. However, uh, this might be a way, an interesting way around it, just as a little tidbit. But if you, if NX is also a handheld, you could buy it and then be able to play it on, uh, on your TV. So just a weird idea, but something cool. Why would you own an NX? Uh, by buying an NX, you get the bo best of both worlds. You then have a handheld and a Wii U. The Wii U, when you're in vicinity of the Wii U box, you get upgraded graphics and you're able to play on your TV. 
uh, that has the video card that has all the extra processing power to get the better graphics when you're away from it outside the area you have a handheld device that still gives you the ability to go out and play similar games just down resed in graphics and processing and some of the effects uh, people can buy the NX to replace one or the other uh, if they only own a 3DS and kind of want a Wii U, they don't have to buy the Wii U now, they just sell off their 3DS and buy an NX and then they have both or vice versa. If a person does not want to upgrade, they are still able to then buy Wii U games for their Wii U or 3DS games for their 3DS. Uh, and there's still special content uh, on those, some of these games. Uh, for instance, Smash Brothers had Smash Run for the 3DS and Smash Tour for the Wii U and different stages. So you could still, if you have the NX, you get the best maybe both worlds and have it all. Or this could be similar to future games. They might not back, go back and fix the games that they're already released. Uh, Mario and Sonic uh, Rio has golf for the 3DS and rugby for the Wii U. So again, just owning different consoles, you still get that exclusive content if you just want to buy that. Um, what this matters to Nintendo's cross-buy idea. Uh, Nintendo still likes creating individual games for that and giving that unique content. However, they could uh, allow you if you have Wii U games that also are on 3DS they could just be like if you own an NX and you own the Wii U game we're just going to give you the 3DS game as our just niceness for you buying the NX and having a copy of the Wii U game uh, just as a nice like awesome thing or they may in add a new uh, price margin where if you want both copies of the game for NX so it's there and portable they just add like ten dollars so for seventy dollars you get a Wii U game and a 3DS uh, game on your NX now my crazy E3 predictions with this I've already stated this before but I still think it's gonna happen Mario Maker comes to 3DS uh, it is very similar to Mario vs Donkey Kong it's just a lot more unique things, but they were already trying it in Mario vs. Donkey Kong to have the same game and be able to do the same types of things on both consoles. They probably uh, refined some of the work and some of the stuff in this, so now you can still do the same things. You have a touch screen, you can use the stylus just like with the gamepad, and you can share levels. And this would be a great way to get people to own the other console if they don't or for future uh, again they this might not be 3d just because to simplify it uh, processing power and stuff like that they could also uh, pull the uh, pull some of the um, what am I uh, pull some of the stuff uh, like some enemies or some types of things that are work better in the Wii U version and just not put them into the 3 3DS version uh, they could also uh, take out the or make it only for the new 3DS um, as kind of another way of trying to get people to upgrade to the new 3DS this is the crazier prediction Nintendo has already stated that Zelda U will not be at E3 However, they did not say anything about a new Zelda 3DS game that is actually similar to Zelda U in an open world game without the 3D that would come out on a new 3DS. Uh, I know this is completely right out of left field, but Nintendo delayed Zelda U. They stated they, it would not be shown at E3 in that in Zelda U form which means they could be working on porting it to the 3DS and trying to put it out also on the NX which is both systems at the same time this is going to take more time 
with Nintendo working on this because it has to it's still a giant open world game however the 3DS can handle this or at least the new 3DS can considering it handled uh, the Wii port of Xenoblade it can handle fairly big games it just has to downgrade the graphics this is possible uh, again it's just we're, we gotta wait and see what Nintendo is going to do but I look forward to seeing E3, seeing what Nintendo is going to unveil, and uh, checking out Nintendo's future over the next couple of years with NX. Uh, this has been Cowboy Gamer. I hope you enjoyed it.